for the 164th consecutive Monday. It's country music time here at Dornan's in downtown Moose Wyoming. Ah, God, hey! We gather around the campfire and drink this brew called Teton Tea. I think the Hoot Nanny kind of represents a little bit of why people did music kind of socially. We tell people about the Hoot Nanny and we just explain to them that it's this great community tradition that's been going on here in Jackson and it's like an open mic but we warn people that it's very quiet you know which we love it's a great listening atmosphere yeah I'm Bill Briggs uh, Dick Bacher and I uh, got together uh, to start up the hoot where I grew up we didn't have music acoustic music Bill had a big cauldron that he had on the fire. One, two. Like a witch's brew, he'd be stirring this cauldron of tea. And people who would come would bring anything, anything with some alcohol in it. No faces the south. And that became Teton Tea. Way to so it became a, a real, uh, almost a tradition of having Teton Tea parties about three or four times a week. All right, Jack, make us ready. Ann and Pete Sibley hadn't done that much before they came to the Valley. They really had sort of just got on to the kind of music that we all sing at the Hoot, and they they took to it like ducks to water. In the 